Hello, in this video we're going to find the MLE of a continuous uniform distribution. Actually we're going to find it in three different settings for a continuous uniform and, and that'll make more sense as we go along. The first one is a uniform from 0 to 1 and so the, the density is 1 over theta but notice the equal signs there. So Xi can equal theta and it can equal 0 or anything in between. We have a sample size of n. So our joint density is the product of the independent marginals, which is this. Now, if now the goal is to maximize this. And so we're going to plot this picture here. And um, so here we, we have our data points, and it's it, somewhere on here there's there's our largest data point. Now when we plot this, it, it looks like this all the way up to that largest data point. Because every xi must be less than or equal to theta, or you could think of it as theta must be greater than or equal to every data point from 1 to n. And so this gets maximized at the largest data point. So that's our maximum likelihood estimator, the nth uh, order statistic of our sample of size n. Now here, the situation is very similar. So it's a uniform from 0 to theta. So the density is 1 over theta. But here there's no equal sign. So the xi has to be between 0 and theta and for, for i equals 1 to n. So our density of, is, is the same. Our joint density is 1 over theta to the n. But now, when we plot this, well, well, the quick answer is the MLE of theta does not exist, and here's why. So if our data is along here somewhere, and we have a largest value, the nth order statistic. So when we plot our uh, likelihood, remember we're trying to find a maximum likelihood estimator. So uh, for different values of theta, that's along here, it goes up, goes up, goes up, and then it can never equal or go past the largest value, okay? And since theta has to be strictly greater than every data point, um, where is this maximized at? Do you, do you take the largest data point and go over 0 0.1 or 0 0.05 or 0 0.005 or, you know, there's no largest value in here. We know it doesn't go above, you know, when you stick in the nth order statistic here, but where is the where is the likelihood maximized? Well, it's not. So the MLE in this situation, uniform zero to theta, where there's no equal signs, it doesn't exist. And now one more example. Let's let xi be a uniform from from theta to theta plus one. And so our density is one, and that's for every x. That's for xi. So then the joint density, uh, and so that's a vector, is the product of the marginals. And that's still one. And so xi has to be between these two points, and we're going to allow for equal. Now, this what this says is that the smallest value must be greater than theta. And the largest value, largest data point, must be less than or equal to theta plus 1. They all have to be between here. Now, if we subtract 1 over here, that means theta has to be bigger than xn minus 1, and it has to be smaller than x1, which is this. So this is a, these these are requirements based upon our problem here. Theta has to be between these two values. So now, if we plot our uh, likelihood of sample you know sample size n, then it looks like this over here. Theta has to be less than or equal to x1. And it has to be greater than or equal to the nth order statistic minus one. Okay. Now you think that's kind of weird, but I simulated this in in R, 
and for samples of say 100 then these are these are only like point zero one off you know it's like really close to what it really should be so but here we're trying to find the MLE so this, where is this maximized well it's a constant so technically any value in this interval is an MLE and what this illustrates is that the MLE is not unique in this case so the three cases and that's my last example so the three cases we had in a uniform continuous uniform setting one we had a unique MLE one we had a situation where the MLE didn't exist and in this uniform distribution setting the MLE wasn't unique and so every every case every situation is different well that's all I got for today hopefully you enjoyed it if you did please like it and subscribe so you don't miss the next one thanks bye